Hi everyone, Mary here. Today is May 14th, 2020. It's been kind of a crazy day. Um, I did an interview with my friend Stephanie, who's also my Kundalini yoga instructor. I know you're going to love her, but our audio on her end wasn't working. So we will redo that interview tomorrow or Saturday um, in between my readings and her, <laughs> her yoga instruction. So I'm so sorry about that. What I thought I'd do, I have a few minutes to do a quick reading on the hurricane season for 2020. And so um, we'll just ask for a little guidance. Okay. Heavenly angels, please show us guidance for this hurricane season 2020. The Atlantic season. Please show us guidance for this hurricane season 2020. So what I'm going to do is start by pulling uh, four tarot cards. And the first card up is the Knight of Swords. Sword energy is air energy. And this knight looks fairly determined to come in. So you don't need a psychic to tell you that this is going to be a difficult hurricane season because we all know that the waters in the Atlantic are very warm. So... Um, I'm not surprised at this card, and uh, I've done a couple of readings on my own, and this card has come out before. All right, Heavenly Angels, please show us guidance for the hurricane season. Um, the death card, that doesn't mean death. It's more of a change and transition. And to me, uh, it's Mother Earth just rebalancing herself. Um, not just through hurricanes, but earthquakes, fires, you know, a lot of natural disasters that we need to be prepared for. Um, two more cards, please. Heavenly angels, please show us guidance. Ace of Swords. Hmm. New beginnings. And the last card. Last card, please. Three of Swords. Okay. Well, like I said, this is going to be a busy hurricane season. I see a lot of earthquakes. I mean, earthquakes. Wow. Okay. Um, I see a lot of hurricanes coming, possibly earthquakes as well. That just came out of my mouth for a reason. I know... Um, I live off the coast of Puerto Rico on an island, but Puerto Rico itself has been having a lot of earthquakes lately since uh, last December. With the death card, um, again, I feel like this is Mother Earth just going through her own transformation, you know, um, trying to rebalance herself. And I feel like this is all about um, a new beginning. So this hurricane season, It'll be part of Mother Earth rebalancing herself um, more towards the new Earth. Um, but also, whenever something ends, something new always um, begins. <laughs> when there's an ending, there's always a beginning. So that's part of the transformation. Some endings, some new beginnings. Um, and then we have, with the Three of Swords, um, I have to say that this is probably, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, this is going to be a tough season for a lot of people. You know who you are, you know where you live, and you know if you're in danger of, um, you know if you're in the hurricane areas, right? Um, but I think it will be a heartbreaking season for, for many um, and that's why I was reticent to do this reading because I knew it wasn't going to be an easy one. Um, I think I'm going to use a different deck. This is my deck. Uh, what's the name of this deck? Ciro Marchetti, the Gilded Tarot. This is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. 
And I just want to just get a little clarity. One more card. What will the hurricane season mean for Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. And I, I'm reading on Puerto Rico specifically because um, that's where most of my questions come from in regards to hurricanes. And we have the magician. Now the magician is a manifester, right? Um, can manifest things. But with this card for this particular reading, sorry I'm sweating, I have to say that he has all of the elements at his disposal. Again, this is just a nod that Mother Earth is rebalancing herself. And all of the elements will be All of the elements will be um, affected. So not just hurricanes with air, but um, earth with earthquakes, fires, um, flooding, that's the water. So I feel like we really need to be prepared for anything. We need to be prepared for anything. As I sit looking at these cards, um, my, I was drawn to the one, but the ace is, is like the number one, and the three. Um, I feel like Puerto Rico itself is going to be hit between a one and a three category hurricane. Maybe a hurricane category one or two, possibly three. Normally that would not be um, catastrophic, but because the island is already the island is already um, having difficulty with its infrastructure from previous hurricanes and earthquakes, and I just feel like Puerto Rico is going to get hit with a category between a one and a three, and it's going to be island wide. It's not just part of the island. I'm seeing the whole island affected. So. Um, Please be prepared, and you know how to do that. Um, financially, let me just see if I can get um, Heavenly Angels. Please show me the financial. What's going to happen to Puerto Rico financially from a hurricane? The High Priestess. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to have to pull another card. I mean, the High Priestess is connected to the divine, connected to, grounded in the earth, um, uses her intuition. I guess um, pay attention to your inner knowing. Uh, if your gut says to get out, get out. Um, Page of Wands. If you hear a message that says to evacuate, evacuate. Um, I think Puerto Rico is, is going to get hit. All right. Let me just see if I can... Um, I'm going to see if I can just connect and kind of look at the map and see if what I'm getting. What I'm being shown is Puerto Rico is going to look like we're being hit. There's going to be several hurricanes that will go to the south and several that will go to the north. There's that uh, piece of land between Mexico and South America that looks like it's going to get a direct hit. I think that's the Yucatan Peninsula. I see the Gulf. There'll be a couple going into the Gulf. I see two going into the Gulf. And then I see one headed, I just see the tip of Florida being affected. So like right across the state. I think I saw that last year too. 
So Southern Florida. And then I'm seeing I feel like it's Cuba. I think Cuba is going to get hit. It's that bigger island that's near Florida, and I believe it's Cuba. And um, and then last year I mentioned Ocracoke Island, and I believe that's going to be hit again this year. I'm sorry, you guys. So if you're um, in the Atlantic and in on the eastern, the whole eastern United States, you guys, you need to be prepared. So if, if they tell you to evacuate, please do so. Be prepared with cash, um, food. Try to have some sort of solar power to power up um, your phones and things like that. But get prepared. It's going to be a difficult season. I hope that answers your question. I know it's um, it's not an easy time because we're already dealing with um, financial crisis, the pandemic crisis, earthquakes. Um, it's just Mother Earth is really doing her stuff to rebound. So from Amanda Ellis's Archangel Metatron deck, I pulled a card for us and it says, oh, I love it. Conquering fear, conquering fear. Um, the card says, start today. <laughs> Don't be in fear, but be prepared. We already know it's going to be a difficult season and we know what to do. So prepare. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. I'll try to read um, on individual hurricanes as they come off the coast of Africa. If that helps you at all, let me know. And um, we're, we're, in this, we're all in this together, so just be safe and be prepared. But don't be in fear, <laughs> okay? All right, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And I love your comments. Thanks so much. See you next time. Namaste.